All right, so you're trying to copy PDF form fields from one PDF to multiple other PDFs. If you just want a quick solution, download the file from the description, import it into the action wizard of Adobe Acrobat Pro, adjust it and run it. If you want a little bit more details about uh, how this works and how I came up with it and also how you might be able to adjust it to fit your needs, um, then you can stick around and I'm gonna explain to you what this thing really is. Oh, and you're gonna need uh, Adobe Acrobat Pro for this one. So let's say you have a PDF document with form fields. So I can go ahead and put a date here, type something here, type something there, and check the checkboxes down here. This is all nice and fine, but what if I wanted to copy these fields over to another document? So there's actually a very nice function in Adobe Acrobat Pro under the prepare form tool where you edit all your form fields. Uh, you can select all of them, right click and then duplicate across pages, which will make a duplicate of your form fields onto other pages in the same document. Since I don't have any other pages in here and I just want to duplicate this to other documents, I'm not gonna be able to click it because it's grayed out. But we can use this and with the action wizard, create a little script that will copy the fields over to other documents. That's pretty handy if you wanna copy over these fields to hundreds of other documents and you don't have the time to do it by hand. Go to the link in the description, download the file, and then in Acrobat Pro, you're gonna go to, if you don't already have it on the right here, this little checkbox sign, you're gonna go to tools, go all the way to the bottom, and then you're gonna see Action Wizard, click on that, or then click it on the right, if you already have it on the right. Then go to manage actions and you're going to see a list of all your current actions that you have in Acrobat. Go to import and then select the file that you downloaded from the description. It might ask you for permission for some things. Just click on allow. I promise I don't have anything uh, malicious in this script. Once you imported it, there's a few things you need to set up. You're going to go to edit. And right here you can see what the script really does. It just takes a file, then it inserts a page from the PDF that you wanna copy the fields from, but you first have to um, specify these. Right here you actually have to click on insert pages and then on specify settings where you can choose your template that you wanna copy the fields from. Then it, it executes a, a JavaScript um, which just copies over the fields pretty much to another page and then it deletes the page again because it already copied the form fields uh, right I here I also have the set tab order property because I want to um, tab order these in the direction of a row you can ignore this or delete it if you don't want this and then the last thing is to save the files to a local folder. Um, I'm just going to choose my folder here where I want to save these files to. So I just made a little a folder called export. Then you can save. Close this. You don't actually need to open any of the documents to do this. You can close all of them down. So I'm just going to close my goal or my target and I'm just gonna close my source PDF right here I'm not gonna save anything okay so just as a quick recap I have my form template right here which has the form fields and then I also have my targets I have five targets here and if I go into the first one there's no form fields right now so if I go to prepare form it's gonna ask you to what how you want to create the form fields so I'm just gonna close these again. Now, here's the thing, go to tools, action wizard, or choose it down here, doesn't matter. And then you're gonna run the action we've just edited. So 
you copy fields general. Now you can go ahead and choose the files you want to paste the fields onto. So click on add files right here. I'm choosing my five targets, click on open. Now they've all loaded in here. Uh, right here is going to be the save to local folder. You can also just um, pick another one right here, but then all I'm going to do is click on start. And what you're going to see is it's going to do all the work for me. So going to open each of these targets, um, paste the fields in from the template, and then it's going to save them into this export folder. So let's go ahead and click on start. Um, it's going to put a security warning. Uh, just because it's going to write to your file system. I don't think this actually appears on Mac, but uh, this is the first time I'm seeing this because uh, I prepared this on the Mac. So I'm going to just go ahead and click on allow. And as you can see, it's quickly scrubbing through my targets and pasting them in here, exporting them to my export folder. So let, let's just check this. All right, looks fine. Copied everything over. I can go ahead and type my values. I can click checkboxes. All as intended. And let's check uh, the five. Perfect. So this is very useful if you want to copy over the fields of one PDF to multiple other ones. And it doesn't matter how many they are. Um, the script is not super fast, um, but it, it can do the job. So. If you have hundreds of these, it's going to maybe take one minute. Um, I didn't do any exact benchmarks, but it works. And that's all it needs to do. Just another thing. Um, I only tested this with uh, date, text and checkbox fields. So if you have another type of field, it might not work. But just leave a comment on this video and I'm going to try to maybe fix it and provide you with a version that's also going to include your type or you can try to fix it yourself by using the javascript of course it's uh, probably a good idea to experiment a little bit with the action wizard if you work with pdfs a lot it might be a good idea to just go into edit of of my little script and then maybe you also want to I don't know, compress the images or export all the images of the pdfs or whatever the action wizard is really a good tool and um, pretty useful for many things. I hope this tutorial was what you were looking for. I came across a lot of unuseful things while searching for a solution for this. So if you found this useful, maybe leave a like uh, or a comment. And yeah, I hope you have a great day. Bye bye.